Welcome back, everybody. Uh, yeah, doing the intro after the fact because I, I had to get up super early and run. Uh, if any of you guys have been subscribed for a while, you know last season I hit up Lake Winnebago a bunch, chasing a bunch of different hot bites. Uh, it was really good travel last season so I could get around on my in my truck a lot. Um, this season has been uh, pretty iffy and I don't like the idea of playing the odds with my truck. And they've been having a lot of snow and stuff like that. So the squealer that I have, uh, if you guys don't know what that is, uh, go back through my videos. It's my, my ice machine. It's a custom three-wheeler. Check it out. Um, the squealer I have can't go through really deep snow and they had a ton of, ton of deep snow. So, but uh, in today's video, I was going to go out, do a search and destroy mission by myself. But as I was out there, I hit up one of my buddies that fishes there a lot and he happened to be out that day. And he was on a really good bite. Uh, thanks again, Chris. I'm really happy you, you know, hit me up and was like, or told me that, you know, come get it. Uh, even if it was five miles across just ungodly terrain with my squealer, I got beat up so bad, but it was worth it. It's the one time in my life I can say getting beat to crap on my machine was worth it. Uh, yeah, so I already know, just so you guys know, it was a really good day. So, stay tuned, we'll be on fish shortly. Come on. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. A lot of them's going to commit. Oh, there's a ton of them down there. We got a school. Oh, bombs, fish. Oh, here comes one. So many fish down there. The whole bottom's just solid fish. Did I get him to come? Get him! Get him! <laughs> that 
crappy. I <laughs> got my other line. Let's see if I can undo this mess. I'm gonna send this guy back down because they get a lot bigger than that. Okay, now that that mess is put back together, all the excitement, I forgot to turn my heater back on. Yep, oh, here it comes. Got him. What is it? Ah, look at that perch. Look at him. <laughs> That's bagel, baby. Oh, yeah. Come on. Look at that perch. Oh, school of them. Here comes another one. Come on. Got him. Look at that perch. Oh my god. Look at that fish. It's a 13 inch perch almost. <laughs> you gotta get back down there. Oh, I got another one. <laughs> oh, oh, look, it's a crappie. Not what I'm after, but really cool. <laughs> Go back. Oh my god, look at the school. Look at the school. Look at him. Look at him. Here comes what one shooting up. There's so many fish down there right now. Oh, here comes one out of nowhere. Hold still, just a little walleye. <laughs> Go back. I have relative reserves to catch. I still got this huge school below me. This is awesome. Look at the bottom rise. There's so many down there. Oh, here he comes. Got one. Just got to get him out of that group. What is that? What is that? Oh my god, <laughs> a perch, that's what that is. <laughs> Digging. I don't know how long this is going to last, so I'm trying to do this as quick as possible. Alright, they're not crushing the bow spoon at the moment, so I'm going to switch baits just to put something different in front of them. Here comes one. Got him. 
Jesus. <laughs> I haven't caught perch like this in forever. Look at that thing. This school is huge. Came back. Are there two of them? So subtle. They're such a big fish. <laughs> Guys are huge. Look at that. There's a fish suspended. Oh, jeez. And he hit the eye fish pro. I'm gonna bet white bass. Oh, I missed them. Yeah, I've had to use this in a while. I was messing around, the school came back. Oh, active school, too. Feels better. What is that? <laughs> Another keeper. I just want to do a quick tip. Uh, this is something I kind of figured out myself. A lot of people say that the uh, set lines and all that stuff doesn't work real good on Bago. Uh, well, not everybody says that, but a lot of people say tip ups don't work out here. That is a set line. This is my jigging line. A lot of times I can see them come in on that minnow, and even if they don't eat the minnow, they'll come right over and eat this immediately. So, like there's one down there right now. It's kind of coming up and down. I think what that does is it gets them going, and then they, uh, they make the decision to eat when they come over by the spoon. There's a bunch of them down there right now. That's a good tap. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> they get bigger. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. No way. They're literally getting bigger. People ask what my favorite bait is. Right there. JB Lures Bow Spoon. Sunfish color. Jiggled that one in his mouth. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Almost lost that one there. <laughs> I got 
that was quick. Jeez. <laughs> Broke my hook. Good thing I have extra hooks. Okay, I had to throw new hooks on here because uh, that last perch that I was taking off took a hook with it and then uh, I missed two hook sets. You guys probably didn't see those or you might have seen one of them but uh, yeah can't have that happening when they're uh, coming in so switch out the hooks like I said before in other videos make sure you check your hooks. Brand new hooks. This is just cause it's just silly today. I haven't had a good perch day like this in years. This is why you come to Bego though. Come on. I don't know if I emphasized this before, but you really got to be quick. Got a whole school below me again. That's what you want to see. I dropped it right into somebody's mouth. When the school goes, they tend to feed. Competition always works. Oh boy, I don't know what's going on here. This guy kind of came out of nowhere. But he still, still played. Look how fat that thing is. All right, guys. So that's going to conclude today's freaking awesome day. I had a blast. And I got, uh, well, I actually had to use my counter for the first time this season. I decided to keep those perch. And, uh... It's so funny because I don't ever need this thing. And, uh, yeah, that's it was one of those weird days where, like, you get three, four fish like that. So it was like fish, fish, fish. 
it was manic. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one because I I just love getting out and just really, really getting on those hot bites. I, I fish regardless of a hot bite. Like I said at the beginning of this video, it was basically, hey, go out. I'm going to go drill a bunch of holes. I thought I was going to have to drill 100 holes. Uh, I was actually going to do another review type thing on my auger because the ice there is now like anywhere, anywhere between 15 and 20 inches thick. Uh, so anybody looking to get out on Lake Winnebago, if you got a machine, you're fine. Uh, but like I said, take that with a grain of salt. Uh, we're going to keep that as like a, just kind of a word of the wise type thing. You still got to be careful. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, obviously, if you're not new here, you know what's up by now. But if you're new here, just remember to... Stop